to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make the most amazing, creamiest, cheesiest grits ever. Oh my goodness, they are perfect for breakfast, for brunch, for dinner, just all around goodness. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell and make sure it's set to all so you'll always get my videos every time I upload one. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay guys, we are back. This is going to be a very quick recipe. Just a few ingredients. The store of the dish, our grits. Now I am using the quick grits. You can use the old fashioned grits, Truthfully, I've used both. I use both. It just depends on what I have on hand. And to be honest with you, the only big difference I see in the old fashioned grits and the quick grits is they take longer. The old fashioned ones take longer and these are a quick cook. Now there may be another difference, but taste and cooking that's about it. We also have some milk. Cheddar cheese, I'm going to be using another cheese. We'll get to that when we get into the video, as well as some butter, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper. If you want to spice it up a little bit, I use something a little bit different. I'll get to that ingredient as we go along as well. I think that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and get these creamy, cheesy grits made. We are at our stove. Our stove is on medium high to this pot. We're going to add our milk, our water, and our seasonings. Now, you can use cayenne pepper, but as I said, I have a couple of other ingredients I use. This is pickled jalapenos, and I like to use the liquid from this instead of cayenne pepper because I like the taste personally. We're going to add in our paprika, and I will have all the ingredients down in the description for you guys, exact measurements. This is quick and easy. Always add a little salt. I just added my garlic powder as well as my salt. We want to give this a stir to combine it and then bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll go on to the next step. So we'll be back. Okay, so we are at a wrapping boil. So now I am turning my pot on low. And we're gonna go ahead and stir in our grits. Now I measure mine just a little bit differently, so let me see, I need a little bit more in there. I can always tell how much grits I need or have depending on my liquid in my spoon. Okay, now we wanna whisk this, making sure it's smooth and there's no lumps in here. Then we're going to cover it and let it cook for about five minutes. And we'll go on to the next step after that. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. Mm. Ooh. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Our grits are nice and smooth and creamy. So now we're going to go in with our butter. I'm going to turn my stove completely off because I'm using an electric stove and that heat is not going to cut immediately. So I want to go ahead and cut that heat off. Along with the butter, I am using some pepper jack cheese. and my cheddar cheese. Go ahead and whisk that in until it's nice and smooth. Oh my goodness, this is looking amazing. Mm, mm, mm. And it smells divine, guys. It smells so good. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go over and plate this up. 
so we can see how it looks in the end. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't that look amazing, guys? Yes. Okay, guys, this is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Look how creamy that is. Oh, my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. And it smells delicious. You can see the little bits from the jalapeno peppers in there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. And then you can go ahead and garnish it with some more extra cheddar cheese. Oh, my goodness, guys. Mm, mm, mm. If you made it this far in the video and you got something out of it or you just enjoy these videos, give the video a like. It really would help the channel out, guys. Oh, my goodness. As well as share it out. Let everybody you know that Chef Pam is over here making made from scratch easy, simple meals and showing you exactly how to do it. Let's learn together. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creep don't rise.